everyone, I'm here with Eric Gu. He is the organizer of Finwise and also creator of Metaverse. So one thing that I want to do is I want to learn a little bit about how we got into cryptocurrencies, a little bit about you, and then we'll talk a little bit about Metaverse as well. So Eric, how did you get into cryptocurrencies? Uh, actually, it's quite a crazy story. Actually, my wife took me. Your was, wife? Yes. Took you into it? Yes. That, I think that was uh, like three, four, four years ago, actually. Four years ago. And one day I was, uh, I, I was in the remote city of China, okay. and she called in and said, hey, my, my birthday is coming up. This year's present, I want Bitcoin. I was like, huh, what is Bitcoin? Wait, she didn't want anything else. She didn't want a she, car, yeah. she didn't want a house, she yeah, wanted she wanted Bitcoin. Bitcoin. She wanted Bitcoin. I was like, what is Bitcoin? And then she gave me two words to find out. She said, find out. Wow. Uh, and, yeah, I was like, okay. So, but, you know, I, I, I was in China back, back then, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, what's the best way of, of learning what Bitcoin is? Okay. The best way is finding people like you. Maybe you should tell me. What right. Bitcoin is. Right. But that was like four years ago. I couldn't find anybody in that remote city in China. Right. What's the best, second best way of learning what Bitcoin is? Yeah. Guys, YouTube. Yeah. So it, it needs a VPN to access YouTube, right? Oh, right. So I did that. I did that. So, so I have VPN. I got, I got onto YouTube as I searched Bitcoin. As soon as I started watching YouTube videos, I just realized how amazing Bitcoin is. It's crazy. Yeah, and it's crazy. I just, I just I just immersed myself into the the, the videos okay. for like 16 hours straight. Wow. No sleeping, no eating, no drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a crazy story. Yeah. So by the end of the 16 hours, I was like, you know what? I totally converted. Wow. I totally converted. So I put a I put a WeChat moment that's equivalent to the the, the Facebook. All right, right. I said, I, said I, I surrendered to the anarchists. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cryptocurrency. Yeah, yeah. So, right. Yeah, I said, oh, okay, I, 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 that's how I convert. When I do things, I want to, I want to, I want to know everything about Bitcoin. So right. I flew to Miami. That, that was um, uh, 2014. Okay. Uh, January. Okay. Miami Bitcoin Conference. Oh. Yeah, I was there. So I met almost everybody. Like John oh. Tree. Oh. Uh, which I, he got arrested, right? Uh. Right there. And uh, Roger Veer, you know, blockchain info guy. Right, so, right, right. A whole right. bunch of people. That's how I got into the space. That's how, that's yeah. a really cool story. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about a little bit about Metaverse. So right. what is Metaverse, first of all? So after I got to know Bitcoin, then I thought, you know, if cash can be digitized, mm -hmm. what else can be digitized? I mean, almost everything. All the assets, right? Let's say gold, silver, crude oil, mm -hmm. oil, stocks, bonds maybe, mm -hmm. maybe artworks, Art and, yeah, antiques. So, then I thought, you know what, I probably want to create a wallet that hosts, you can put every digital assets into this wallet. So we call it the one wallet. Oh, so, okay. so if you carry this one wallet, you can just go to everywhere with this one wallet. You, can, you have digital US dollar, digital CNY, and digital gold and everything. So that's right. how, that was my initial thoughts. Um, what I want to do in this uh, crypto space. Oh, okay. Back then. Back then. Yeah. Right. And then how did that evolve into what it is now? So a wallet for everything, digitalize yeah. everything, yeah. and then evolving that forward. Right. 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 So a little bit of my, my own background. So I was uh, I was a programmer, Java programmer. Oh, yeah. Right. I, I, was, wow. I was. I was. I used to be programming right. in, in Toronto, uh, Canada. Okay. Uh, from uh, 1999 to 2008 ish. Okay. -ish. Um, so, so I moved back to Shanghai, China. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was born in Shanghai, right? I, I, I went to college in Shanghai. Um, then I thought, I spent like 13 years in Toronto. I'm like, so not Chinese anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, 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 right. So I said, I don't want to go to a, a foreign company in China. I want to be in a local company mm -hmm. so I can be Chinese again. So okay. I know what Chinese, how Chinese people thinking. Exactly. Right. So, so I, uh, when I knew Bitcoin, I was in that particular company, a, a local big data company. Okay. So I, was, I, I, I spoke to my boss. I said, I said, you know what, let's do crypto. And he's a smart guy. He's from UC, UC Berkeley. Mm -hmm. And he said, too early. Again, two words. <laughs> too early? I mean, yeah, <laughs> too he's, early. That's he said too early. early. He said right. too early. But he's right, right? Yes. Like, yes. 2014. Yes. He's right. But for, I didn't. For actual adoption. That's yeah. uh, and actually. But I didn't listen. So I said, you know what, if you don't want to do it, I'll, I'll, I quit. 
Oh. So I quit. So I started my own company. So one of one one of my uh, uh, coworker, mm-hmm. he said, Eric, I want to come with you. Okay. And he's my partner now. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So then, okay. So you started the project in 2014 yeah. on your own with your partner, yeah. and then it's the concept revolves around digitalizing right. assets. Right, right. And then what else? Uh, so from 2014 to 2016, we want to want to do like uh, blockchain stuff. And uh, in 2016, we wanted to create a, a, a decentralized application on top of Ethereum. Oh, okay. like that we were doing the the. Uh, it's the land deeds digitalization. Oh, land deeds. It's, yeah, land deeds. And we're, we're like halfway into the project and so, suddenly the DAO happened. Oh. I was like, what the heck? I mean, how can you roll? I would say, uh, roll back is the bad word yeah, in, right, in, right. In, in crypto space, right? right. I said, you, you, don't, you don't change blockchain. You don't, you don't. Right. That was so, a very controversial yeah, move. Yeah, I hate it. But I know uh, Vitalik in, uh, yeah, personally. Personally, right, right, yeah, right. Very good relationship. Okay. Actually, I took him to China and first the trip. Oh, wow. So Ethereum's uh, uh, um, China Roadshow was um, 2014, May 2014. Oh. I took him. Oh, wow. Four city Roadshow. Road nice. Shenzhen, Shanghai. And that's how you got it. Yeah. So that's why I was developing uh, uh, application on top of Ethereum, right? So I, I got so disappointed. I, I, I kind of shouted at the uh, <laughs> guess Please do not hard fork. And right. of course, he didn't miss it. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? No more lengthy uh, digitization project on Ethereum. I build, I build my own. So you build your own chain. So Metaverse, we decided to ICO Metaverse uh, right after that. So oh. that happened. It was uh, uh, August uh, 2016, right. last year. Right. Of course, it's a bad time. If I ICO today, I'll get like maybe 10 times the, the, the Bitcoin. <laughs> Probably 100 times. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. But it was like a painful 32 days of Metaverse ICO. Oh. It's kind of painful, I have to say. Uh, so we raised about 2 million US dollars. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, it took us 32 days. Okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> so the ICO finished at around September. Mm-hmm. And uh, we start developing Metaverse. So mm-hmm. it's more... The code is, uh, we, we rewrite the code, uh, it's not Bitcoin, it's not Ethereum. Uh, it's like a combination of uh, uh, Bitcoin, Bishers, Ethereum. Uh, it's C++. Oh, C++. Okay. Uh, it's uh, proof of work, so mining. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's UTXO. You, you probably know Ethereum is not UTXO. Mm-hmm. Ethereum is account and balance, right? Right. So Bitcoin is UTXO. So Metaverse is UTXO. Oh, okay. So Metaverse is not like Ethereum, okay. In that sense, and uh, uh, the, the the block speed is about twenty three seconds, a little bit okay. longer than Ethereum, but much shorter than than, than Bitcoin. But right. we also took in some uh, the good point of uh, Bishers. Mm-hmm. So Metaverse is an asset issuing platform, mm-hmm. so people can easily create asset on Metaverse, just like Bishers. So is it okay? So just like Bishers, so just like Bishers. So yeah. not like the ERC twenty tokens. No, it's not like ERC twenty tokens. Okay. Token. Okay. Okay. So basically, uh, for Ethereum, you need to be a developer. You need to be mm-hmm. able to write the Solidity mm-hmm. to create an asset, right? Mm-hmm. But on Metaverse or Bishers, you don't. You just fill up a form, and say, "Hey, what kind of coin you want to create? Yes. Uh, how many? And what's the position? I mean, I mean, precision. Uh, how many digits? Right. 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 Yeah, right. Issue, issue, and it's and it's issue. I see. Issue. So you don't need a developer to issue coin. Okay. So the, the idea is say Ethereum is like really uh, to developer to business to C. So to D to B to C. Right. So we are like to B to C. Right. So cutting, 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 to, yeah. yeah. So you make the programming much easier yeah. and there's less room for making kind of yeah. errors in programming yeah. smart contracts or whatnot. See, to me is like Ethereum allow uh, kids to write Right, uh, smart contracts at the at, at the base layer. I mean, yeah. the, the lower layer, right? Right. We don't. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> you don't so that. it's not kids playing ground. Right. So if you're serious, if you have a really good business uh, case, talk to us. Submit mm-hmm. your code. We will approve it. Let you let you go. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So so you have this guarantee here that at least the code is good because now it's it's qu- like. Kind of qualifies to run on the platform. Exactly. You probably know BIP, right? Bis- uh, Bitcoin Improvement Protocol. Yeah. 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 And uh, uh, Ethereum has EIP. EIP yeah. Metaverse has MIP. MIP. So everybody can submit MIP. Say, hey, I have a good idea. Can we put this piece of code, say, smart contract, 
into metaverse code. We were we were reviewed. Code that were reviewed. Mm -hmm. We were we, we were uh, put it up for reward. Say, hey, we have a good idea. We uh, you know uh, if you can fit anyone can finish this piece of code, we will reward you that many coins. So that's the idea. I see. So the community will suggest a good idea, and the community will finish this idea. I see. That's yeah. that's quite interesting. Actually. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, you can't actually really put things in the base layer, but you can actually use the top layer. You can actually use very um, readily available code and um, yeah. and distribute tokens and create your own token so on Metaverse. Two different ways uh, to suggest code, right? It, one is you want to put it in the, the base layer, the, the, the lower layer, mm -hmm. right? So you, you issue a MIP. Okay. So we, we, people will review it, say yes or no. The other way is you should put your code at the application layer. Okay. You don't have to put it at the lower layer. Do you? I don't think so. No. no. The, the yeah. most, most cases, application layer yeah. is sufficient. For me, to me, the lower layer is like really the network layer yes. and the security. Yeah. Oh, that's it. I just make this secure and enough hashing power that it's good enough. That's good. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and you guys had a just tremendously successful conference here. <laughs> you know, I was so surprised to see just how many people were coming right, right. to this conference. And the metaverse is a huge part of this conference right. as well. And a lot of people are actually launching on Metaverse as well. Right, right. Is that correct? Right. And yes, congratulations so much. Thank you. Like, Thank you. And, and the thing is, how do you get everyone together? You know, like this is China. Like, how, how, how was, was it easy getting everyone together to come here? Always the timing. Remember, we spent like 32 days to ICO because of bad timing. Right. And we had a second ICO of another project called Zen Gold. It's a gold project. Mm -hmm. It took us only, what, like, uh, 35 minutes, right? It's timing. So, right. so the conference, it's all about timing. Right, right, right. So right. this is the right moment. So I say, hey guys, here's the ICO conference, come. Right. Everybody's, what, 2,500 people come. It's insane. I was like, yeah. my mind was blown because yeah. like, I went inside the conference room and it was just packed with people. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, yeah. wow, there's so all many people interested. And interested and so many projects here as well. So I'm super excited to actually browse and look at all the yeah, projects yeah. and um, to what you're presenting here. It's just absolutely amazing. One thing I want to ask you about China as well. So now um, cryptocurrency in China is a little bit regulated. Okay? So uh, Bitcoin, you know, what, what is the status of crypto Bitcoin in China? Like, is it, can we spend it? Can we pay for a drink with Bitcoin? Not really. Not really. Not really. So uh, it's not officially approved or sanctioned by, by government, but it's not, it's not banned either. It's a great area. Oh. It's unlike Japan. Japan says, okay, uh, you know, cryptocurrency is good, right? Right. But China says, uh, we have no attitude. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like it. But we like blockchain. We don't like cryptocurrencies. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's right. how Chinese government is like, oh, blockchain technology is like uh, artificial intelligence is like big data, like cloud computing, right? We love the technology, but no cryptocurrencies. <laughs> yeah. well, <laughs> it's not a currency. It's right. a, it's right. It's a virtual currency. It's a, right. it's, it's not a. It's you can't spend it. So right. you can't really go and scan a QR code and pay with yeah. um, your phone mm. with Bitcoin. Yeah. But you can actually um, develop technologies yeah. and improve um, develop applications, decentralized right. apps, and everything. But you just can't spend it as a currency. Right. So it, for them, it's mixed feelings. They like the technology, right? So they they know that. Blockchain could improve the, the financial effectiveness of a financial system, uh -huh. but the currency. What's the, no? It's not currency <laughs> to them. Not currency. Right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, so that, that's a little gray area because you know we, we I saw so many uses of QR codes in right. China, and I was like, dang! If if we can just make a Bitcoin thing, yeah. but it's too bad. We'll yeah. we'll see. Maybe next year. <laughs> yeah, maybe next year. Maybe, maybe next, next year. year. But it's grow so fast. Maybe not next year. Maybe the second half. Some sort of regulation or some yeah. sort of law passing it, then that will make it much easier for people to adopt. It's general. it's possible because uh, Chinese regulators, they are, they they, they want to be followers. Mm -hmm. They don't want to say, oh, we lead the, the regulatory, you know, space. They look outside and say, oh, how how you know, yeah. this government says how Japanese says and we just realized that Japan government is so 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 friendly with cryptocurrency right, right. and all of a sudden South Korea came yeah yeah they came right and yeah. you have Dubai yeah and then you have uh, Luxembourg yeah 
So, so I, I'm, I'm kind of bullish. <laughs> <laughs> right, and, and it's good because you know, having these countries adopting Bitcoin and um, actually being friendly with Bitcoin sets an example and also it sets a test case and you know, okay, you know, their economy is not blowing up or it's not, not, nothing bad is happening. Yeah. So that's, that's one of the amazing things about yeah, it. Yeah. The other thing I noticed is the, uh, uh, the traditional financial company, let's say some of the uh, hedge funds yeah. are, are secretly entering the space. Yeah. Yesterday we had a, a roundtable discussion, right. three uh, venture capitalists. All of them have Bitcoin. All of them, and they have plan to have an ICO fund. Right. So, so, so it says something, you know, about the space. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And I was surprised to see so many investors coming here. Yeah. So it's amazing that you set this up, and I would love to see more with you. So let's take a look, and let's go down and take a look at the conference. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. All right. <laughs>